you have been programming for a while now, and you stumble across the area of competitive programming. You watch a couple of videos on CP and how to start. Welcome to the Ultimate Competitive Programming Roadmap. I'm Arichto and this is Guide on how to start with competitive programming. And get super motivated to solve problems yourself. You hop on Code Forces, sort the problem from most solved, like the tutorial said, and you start to try and solve them. You find it hard to even understand the input and output of the first problem and end up looking at a tutorial to figure it out. Hello friends, let's solve watermelon problem from the code forces. Competitive programming is a mind sport where programmers try to solve problems in a specific amount of time. This sounds simple, but when actually participating, it can get really challenging to even start. In this video, I want to go over how starting competitive programming for beginners can be extremely difficult and why the top ranking competitive programmers have a different perspective and mindset than beginners. My name is Bradley Allen and on this channel, we focus on important computer science topics with the purpose of making you more knowledgeable. Let's get into the video. When getting into competitive programming, it can be very difficult for a beginner to jump the hurdle of never participating in a contest to solving multiple problems all in a short amount of time. The mindset behind competitive programmers is very different than a regular programmer who just creates programs and software. Competitive programmers focus all of their mental capacity on the purpose of solving a programming question or math question or algorithm and data structure questions fast simple and quick they do not care about the most effective way to set up code or the development cycle or the software they just want to get that problem solved right then and there quickly and fast and this is very effective when you're trying to solve problems be it in interview questions or in the contest that they attend the beauty of competitive programming is that when you partake in this hobby or sport, it can improve other areas of programming for you. For example, if you're very good at solving greedy algorithms or greedy problems and data structures and algorithm problems, this can transfer to interview problems and help you land a job at one of these software companies because you can solve the questions very fast and effectively. Competitive programmers don't just train. They learn, train, and understand the problems and how to solve them fast. So for example, competitive programmers will get stumped on a problem and then later go over how they can solve it and how they come up with the solution in their head. This allows them to have higher intuition for the next set of problems that they have. This is what makes competitive programming awesome. So from a beginner's perspective, Competitive programming can be very hard to get into and when you search up videos and advice from others on YouTube, you will get a lot of answers such as just start, just start and solve a bunch of problems. To a beginner, this can be very hard to take in and you know sit there and start solving problems when you can barely solve the first one on Code Forces, Watermelon. So as a beginner myself, I want to give you all some advice that you know maybe you can take from a beginner because I know these guys at the top they have a different mindset and they're on a different level than the beginner guys who are just trying to start and participate in their first contest and it could be a little overwhelming when you hear a lot of people saying learn dynamic programming learn greedy learn uh, strings and how to manipulate them all and so I just want to give y'all some advice what I can compare competitive programming to is going to the gym so when you're going to the gym, when you first start, you don't know anything. You don't even know how to curl a bar or bench press. You don't know the form. You don't know how to squat. You don't know the perfect form. But guess what? Over time, learning and training and figure out specific ways to do the form, what works for you, like conventional squat or or low bar squat or conventional deadlift, sumo deadlift, you learn these things over time. As a beginner in competitive programming, I believe this is the same way. When people say just start, I think of this as when people say just start going to the gym and lose weight or gain muscle. And when you tell somebody just go to the gym, it can be kind of bad advice. Sure, going to the gym and just doing some things, you'll lose some weight but not in the most effective way 
and maybe you'll injure yourself and hurt and quit overall. When starting competitive programming, I would like to say, have you a plan to start? So for example, I would start, get you a plan from one of these guys who actually go in depth on how to start competitive programming like Colin or Striver with his sheets. I'll put a link in the description so you can check them out. But they have plans and ways to start doing competitive programming as a beginner to where you won't quit and they they come at it with a beginner's perspective not everybody knows the algorithms such as dextras and all this is just advanced stuff and as an advanced guy they assume you know some of this stuff that they've gone through but as a beginner some some sometimes when you're a beginner you don't know nothing and so my advice is to have a plan from one of these guys who actually go in depth and second advice that I have is consistency guys consistency okay go solve a problem once a day no matter what okay if you're getting up in the morning solve that problem or if you don't have time right before you go to bed solve a problem it gets you into the mental mood or it gets you used to solving problems the hardest thing about competitive programming is sitting down reading that problem and think of a solution and implementing it that is basically it and when you can master that and do that every day, it becomes a habit. Competitive programming will come easier for you. So guys, this was just a quick video on the perspective of a beginner for competitive programming. I know it can see, seem hard and I myself am better at leak code problems than competitive programming. And I just wanted to give y'all a perspective from a beginner because I know there's a lot of you out there who just find it hard to start. And all I can say is keep trying, keep going. Get you a plan do it every day and if you learn something new like the video comment down below some of the techniques and strategies that you've used to start competitive programming and subscribe and guys i will see you in the next video peace